is Brooke. I am back, and today we are watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 4, Episode 12. Uh, if you are new, hi, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, hi, welcome back. Um, if you would like to watch my uncut reaction to this episode, as well as all the previous Buffyverse episodes, and early access to the next two episodes on the list, you can do so right now on my Patreon. It's linked into the description. Uh, thank you to all my patrons who are over there. Uh, they get, obviously, they get early access. They get bonus content. They get more stuff, and it's just to help support the channel. All the money I make there goes back into improving videos. And, yeah, it's really fun over there. Those, that's also the best place if you have a question for me, either there or at me in my Discord, which is also linked in the description. And I should be able to find time to do it. Um... God, we haven't watched Buffy in, in, like, three episodes. We were on a streak of Angel episodes, so I'm trying to think the last thing that happened in Buffy. Uh, I believe it was the episode where they had to go back to Sunnydale, uh, because there were these demons trying to reopen the Hellmouth, uh, and Buffy and Parker were kind of keeping each- not Parker, I always call him Parker because that was the other guy's name. It's Riley. I know his name is Riley, but every time I go to say it, I say Parker. My brain. Um, Riley had found out each other's secrets. Uh, and they were kind of trying to keep each other's secrets. But it's pretty clear that Buffy's friends know he's one of the commando guys in the bunker. Um, he hasn't said her secret. But most of the people he works with don't think the Slayer is real. So I don't know if they'd believe him if he did. Um, but it is interesting. It was kind of funny because Spike was there. Because he found out that while he can't hurt humans, he can hurt other demons. So he has now decided to help out the team just so he can hurt people. <laughs> and, and no one said he was a good guy. <laughs> um, but Spike was there and Riley was like, have we met before? And Spike was like, no. <laughs> uh, so he thinks Spike is human. I'm like, for a vampire hunter, you, you really can't spot a vampire that well. Especially one you've hunted before. Uh, but okay. Um... Right now, Buffy and Riley are getting along. I just, I feel like it's too late in the season to introduce, like, a new big bad. So, like, the commando operation, I feel like, has to be the big bad. So, I'm like, how is that going to work out? Um, Maybe we'll see in this episode. But I'm kind of, like, sus of all of that. Like, obviously, we're starting to learn from the other shows that demons are not all inherently evil so when we see them being experimented on we don't feel good about it but like at the same time you're like yeah but putting that implant in spike so he can only take blood that is offered to him and he can't hurt people is good so it's like interesting i think it's a complicated conversation in this uh magical world um but I'm really excited to dive into Season 4, Episode 12. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing uh, and liking, commenting, sharing the videos. The more engagement a video gets, the more YouTube recommends it to other people so we can grow the channel. Uh, we're getting close to 500 subs. Let me know if we've hit it by now when you're watching this. I don't know. We're like slowly creeping up there and I film ahead. So I'm like, maybe we're at 500 by this point. Who knows? Uh, but if we're not and you check and you're like, oh, I could subscribe and help. Please do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Let us dive in to season four, episode 12 and see what's going on in Sunnydale. I don't see it ending well, but good luck. <laughs> Willa said she was going to be at the science library. She back. <sighs> Apparently not. We got trouble. What is it? I was in the rec room. It, ca it came through the window. Okay, chill. Okay. No evil demon this time. I was saying, yeah, Buffy's so not had a good run of birthdays. It's like an activity room we had at public school. I'm sorry. That was rude. Please continue your story. She's trying. Hopefully it involves Treacle and the Headmaster. Hi, Giles. Buffy, happy birthday. Thank you. 19. It's hard to believe, isn't it? There's someone I want you to meet. Um, this is Riley Finn. Finn 
Did I see him alone? Giles was the librarian at my high school. Ah, I've seen the library. He's like, it's why gone is downhill he here? Since you left. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that I, uh, I actually miss it at times. Having everyone together for my birthday. Of course, you could smash in all my toes with a hammer, and it would still be the bestest Buffy birthday bash in a big long while. You have enough things jumping out at you in the dark. Professor Walsh says adrenaline is like exercise, but without the exorbitant gym fees. Here you go, sir. <laughs> Giles has you to get nothing. a hobby. This shouldn't be taking so long. Hang on. And you're what? Shocked and disappointed? I'm evil. So what kind I'm of place evil. are you looking for? I don't know. Maybe a crypt. I want to give you something for your new place. That's my lamp. I hate it. A gift is traditional. I have blood. You should just get a hotel room or something. Demon girl's got a point. Need fresh blood. If I had a few bob for a room with an honor bar. Out. That's me. We're you telling her? Were well, I don't like you that. were mistaken. And to think all that time you were sitting in my class. We used the well. latest in scientific technology and state-of-the-art weaponry. And you, if uh, I understand Angel correctly, cool things. poke them with a sharp stick. As I'm just as sure we can learn much from each other. No. I'm working on getting you clearance to come okay. into the initiative. I know I don't have I think trust. you'll find the results of our operation most impressive. How many hostiles would you say you've slain? I mean, I've been doing it for years. <laughs> A lot more. What? What did we forget about now? But you killed the... You did the thing with that. Yeah. Right. I'm awesome. You drowned. <laughs> yeah, that was so the not snake? fun. Puffy. When I saw you stop the world from, you know, ending, I just assumed that was a big week for you. It turns out no, I suddenly we do find that myself. A lot. Don't get me wrong, girls I grew up with could hold their own, but well, I'm not even sure I could take you. You couldn't. That all depends on your meaning. Are they gonna date? Walsh, Why do I always I assume? Because Giles hits on every lady. Well, find, That's age appropriate. These, these are quite the Giles is good about that, I and I like, appreciate uh, him for it. Theseus and the Minotaur. I'm sorry, Buffy's not here, but uh, if I see her. Buffy's been very influenced by your cause. She quotes you quite often. <laughs> if we let a young person find their own strengths, if you Sir, leave why a child are you here to tell hand, this woman how to do her job? And if it's true about hiking, ergo, it must be true about life. It's not always a good thing. I think it can be unhealthy to take on adult roles too early. What I suspect I'm seeing is a reaction to the absence of a male role model. He's basically her dad. But like, in spirit. The demon guy was supposed to rise at sunset. Demon on the loose, carnage everywhere. I think Giles may be creating problems that aren't there. Apparently it hasn't happened yet. A bit of luck. Or, y you know what I bet? I, I bet the initiative took care of it. Who? Oh, Riley and his guys. You must have picked this place up days ago. Stop, both of you. What, what are you talking about? What, what, what's the initiative? What, what, um, what on earth does it have, have to do with Buffy's new boyfriend? is being left out and he is upset. You know. I'm sure you know. No one. No one else knows this. Anya, and that's it. And Spike. And Spike. Spike? Oh, well, that is Spike upsetting. Spike Professor Walsh? That fishwife? You know, she's actually not that bad when she gets... It might be too soon, but Giles is kind of reminding me of the season as a whole. Like, it... It doesn't really have its place yet. Like, it doesn't have its pacing figured out. Or, like, I don't know. Like, compared to season three where I, like, I was like, oh, like, I could feel how connected everything is and how it was building. This season feels a little un unsteady. Uh, but I do feel like that's also with the change of location and kind of age of the characters. It, it That probably plays into it. So I, I've heard season five is really good. So they probably needed this season to, like, find their footing. But, like, it kind of relates to Giles right now where he's, like, not entirely sure where he fits in and where he belongs. Um, but that's really interesting, and I do want to see him figure it out and feel, like, confident again in what he's doing. Who am I kidding? And it happens? I wouldn't say that. Oh, fuck. 
old mate, I'd oh, say something rather no. interesting was about to happen. Someone? Oh, bug, I thought you'd gone. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I love the one time Poppy no, no, gets no, a good wait, birthday. It's because you, it's you about Giles. You can beat the crap out of me. Go ahead. I can't stop you. Or, or, or you can listen to what I have to say. Oh, so cross. We used to be been friends. Been on a date in a while. When all that fall apart? Something happening in the dark world. There's all whispers and rumors out there, but only one thing's coming through clear is that something's harming demons. They're scared. There's something called 314 that's got them scared most of all. The kind of scared that turns to angry. And that's way beyond chaos, mate. Mate. We're headed quite literally for one hell of a fight. Flip back? him over you. Are you? Maybe a little. Flip him. I'll go all out if you will. Are you sure? Here we go. I think she could actually fucking hurt him. I, uh, I don't think so. I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean to. It's fine. Why are you watching her? Nancy Ninja Boys come in. Ethan Rain's just like, Six okay, months later, yapper. Demons are pissing themselves with fear. They never even noticed me. Not you, you're still sadistic and so sensitive. You to me. The world has passed us by. Someone snuck in and left this couple of clapped out has -beens. When he went to the loo, I slipped a small pellet of poison in your drink. You'll be dead in an hour. He's such a liar. I don't believe him. There is still a couple of sorcerers. The night is still our time. Oh, they're gonna do something dumb. Time of magic. It's magic. What it was. Well, I'll say her name, I forgot. Teresa? Willow, if we're gonna float the rose, then use the magics to pluck the petals off, one at a time. It's a test of synchronicity. Our minds have to be perfectly... It's glowing! We're doing it! Hard part, the petals. Are you alive, bro? What did he do? Uh, I thought he was gonna be like younger or something. <laughs> Pancakes because they're stackable. Oh, and waffles because you can put things in little holes if you. Why is she I was not telling this her? New spell, floating a rose, when all of a sudden, sing, 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 like all around the room, presents this dark magic's energy, blocking oh, the spell. Oh, it's probably just because Ethan's in it's new. <laughs> Someone else doing magics. Tell Giles he's feeling a little hurt right now. How come you never told him about Riley being a commando? Did. Mm -mm. I didn't. Forgot. He's oh yeah, I forgot. That's what you always do on the days when the Earth rotates. <laughs> it's just going so well right now, and he's yeah. a little dented. <laughs> but he he said he was okay with it, and I I think he's okay with it. Do, do you think he's okay with it? I'm sure. Yeah, he is. Probably, well, maybe. I not, don't know. You know, you had to do it. Oof. Is Ethan also gonna be a demon? Not showing his face either. Sander. Oh no, he's at Sander, Sanders. Giles. No, Ethan has turned me into a demon, and I need your help. Hello. Yes, it's me. Oh no, we can't understand Listen, it. Poor Giles. I don't want him to get captured. Oh, 
poor Giles. I hope he doesn't get hurt. He's gotta so like write it things. down. What kind of pointy things? Giles? Looks like Xander wasn't the only one to get a visit today. Or well, maybe Spike well, knows. What do I spy with my little eye? Spike. Fuck off. Wonderful. The perfect end to a perfect day. Giles? Go on then. Let's he, get he on with the fight. He speaks demon. I don't know. You just know. come over all demony this morning? As a matter of fact, I did. Thanks to Ethan Rain. You have to help me find him. Try it again without the stutter. Money? I could pay you money. Oh, I like money. How much? He's Anthony money for an apartment. A hundred dollars. When I find Ethan, uh, I can clear all this up without Buffy ever having no, to find out that anything happened to me at all. No, that would be a good thing. Spike telling them what happened would be a good thing, so if they run into Giles, they don't fucking kill him. Oh, this is gonna end bad. I'm worried he's gonna get taken by them. We'll figure it out. Oh. This one has tufty ears. What was that? Oh, Riley. Hi, Riley. What are you doing here? There were 911 calls from a couple different places, including here. You get 911 calls? This is Giles' apartment. He's missing. The calls. Did anyone see what did it? Negative. What are you working on? Uh, we have stuff. Pictures. We have nothing. I keep thinking, let's ask Giles. And I remember. He'd be great right now. He'd find himself in a second. Don't try for third gear. Doing my best. I don't know if I'm driving this thing or wearing it. It's perfectly serviceable. He's like, I don't want to stay Did you like growl? this. No? Listen, about this Fjall demon. Do, do I have special powers? You feel a sneeze coming on, you warn me. Turn here. Downshift! Downshift! Calm down, will you? It's, it's fun. I can't do it. Do it for me. I uh, can't do it! Go. I refuse to become a monster because I look like a monster. Oh, stop the car. No! <laughs> Giles! <laughs> what the fuck? Works for other demons lots of the times. So very strong. Ugh, and hey, mucus. Oh, we want some lions. The demon attacked Professor Walsh. Got out of a small gray car, a Citroen. Stole Giles' car. Why would a demon steal a car? So, Will, this, the spells that are going wrong, could they be caused by someone using magics to control a demon? Making this fiaral demon attack Giles? Yeah, yes, that would draw in a lot of dark energy. English like me, but older. Less attractive. One of them gave you his number. I threw it out. I mean, I took one look and saw he was staying at that rat trap. Credit card slip sale receipts. Help me look. You should have done that to the door. And I do not have time fine. to play by the rules. We tonight. break in here all I the have time. A master key opens every shop on. At least we know who we're looking for. Come in, are you there? What are you doing? It's Agent Finn. I need a search. Local hotel registrations matching the name Ethan Rain. She said when we located the demon, I. I'm not supposed to bring you along. Oh. That's uh, nice. What are you doing? I'm going to the car and call out the troops because nothing less than that is going to stop me. This demon did something yeah, to Yeah, you're going to physically stop her from him. going? I don't fucking think so. Now that sounds like a fiol demon. Good for you. Good for you. Hey, picked up a tail. Yes, just a little. Uh, this is and it's not, not a friend. It. Damn! Oh, sure. Dismantle the getaway car. That'll scare him. Slow down. I'll jump out. I'll pay you another hundred dollars. <laughs> nah, it, 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 calm down. It, it's okay. Good Giles. <laughs> no, no, no. He's mad. No. <laughs> You've got to stop it. It killed Ripper, and now it's trying to get me. Don't let him go. Ethan, they're going to kill you. Just like fucking tell really them. Make him angry. 
Just do the damage and get out of town. It's the staying gloat. You okay? It's, oh, um, uh, not the shirt. Mostly. Ethan's wardrobe's not helping any. I love that she thought he had a sterling world, silver letter opener. Can look that annoyed with me. <laughs> this is gonna go on much longer. I'm human. You can't kill me. What's a slayer gonna do to me? By the authority of the U.S. military, you are being taken into custody. I'm sure he'll be rehabilitated in no time. Mm, um, or used for yeah, fucking I'm just evil. And watch them manhandle him into a vehicle. Giles had killed Ethan. I never would have gotten them back. You'd find some other way. And you're in charge. You're like, make the plan, execute the plan. Yeah. yeah. No one giving you orders. Yeah, the watcher, she kind of told the fuck off. I like it. That's nice. I still don't yeah. see this ending well. I want to have Give hope for them, but I just don't. Week to get ready. Is he gonna die? Nice I, that phone. would make me sad. Yes, fabulous technology. Me, just assuming. See, if anyone has dies. any information, I need to know. You're evil or you die. And I know that it doesn't help. Look, I promise it won't happen again. I will tell you everything. I promise. You okay. look like you're not, not the best phrasing. But this um, initiative, I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'm not dating the initiative. I'm dating Riley. Yeah, he's but he's a good a guy. Part of the but initiative. I believe that. But he's part of something that we we don't really understand. I want you to have your personal life, but keep your eyes open. Make sure you know what you're getting into. Oh. Uh, Pretty How much. do you think she was gonna, he was gonna with physically her. stop her? She reacts on instinct. Oh no. Spontaneous oh, poetic yeah. exclamations. Lord, spare me, college boys in love. I'm just saying she'll work out. Fucking psychology You'll be proud of her. Professors. Yeah, so he doesn't know, and we're about to see whatever evil they're actually up to. He don't know what they're actually up to, does he? Yeah. Ugh, fuck. Him not knowing whatever actual evil shit they're doing does have me concerned he is gonna die. I didn't have that concern until this episode. My brain went, she really likes him and they seem to like them together, but I don't see them ending up together. But he seems like a good guy, so if he found out they were actually doing harm, I feel like he would turn against them. And that leaves one way for him to go off this show. Fuck. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. I don't like when I get thoughts like that because I'm like, no, I don't want that to be true. I do really like Riley. Um, and him and Buffy are really cute. It's just like one of those things where it doesn't feel like a long term, like this is going to last season relationships to me like her and Angel did. Uh, but I still like him. Um, and his role within the initiative was really fun for a storytelling plot point. I don't know what he thought he was doing when he was like, she said you can't come. And it's like, okay, how the fuck are you going to stop her? <laughs> like, what are you going to do? She'll just kick your ass and go on her own. Like, um, also don't like the implications of the government having Ethan and other magic users. Um, because it's so cute that he's like, oh, he'll be kept in a prison and rehabilitated. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, that's what the government does when they get, like, new ways to kill people. They, they definitely just rehabilitate them and let them go. Like, I'm sorry, if you not run an X-Men fucking comic book, like, <laughs> they're not gonna fucking let him go. They're gonna do the same thing to him you're doing to those demons and vampires. Like, bro, bro, no. <laughs> um, the other thing that stood out to me this episode was Willow and her friend, whose name I think starts with a T, um... That she's not telling Buffy about her is interesting. I don't know if it's because she doesn't want Buffy to worry. Because Buffy has talked about the magic being worrying before. But 
I'm not sure. Like, I think she'd be excited to talk about a new friend. Um, but so that's interesting. And I wonder how that's going to develop in the future. Because, yeah, I guess maybe Buffy would be worried. But I feel like Buffy would be open to it. Like, she knew she was in that, like, Wicca group and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm interested to find out why she's not telling them about her. I like her so far. We haven't got to see her a lot. But I think her and Willow play off each other really well. Um, So, I'm excited to see them maybe get a storyline where they get to do some serious magic together. Could be cool. Um, Xander and Anya are kind of just there as comedic, uh, relief, but I think sometimes we need that. Like, we don't need every character to be going through something crazy, uh, every moment, so that was nice. And then I liked Giles, um, getting this Giles-focused episode, because it really, yeah, he, his character has felt a little lost in this season, um, and, like, obviously that's on purpose, that's how they're writing it. But, like, it's nice to see him get a little bit of time to have a storyline, even if it's not a long-term one. Um, and I could see him and the rivalry with Walsh, like, building more throughout the season as well. So, I did like that. I am excited for the future. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. And I will see you next time.